Hello and welcome back everybody to Clannard. So, we're standing in right in front of the bakery that is at the same time Furukawa-san's home. Or I guess they live above the bakery. And not in the bakery, but anyway. Uh, let's see what happens. So, this is the place, huh? I see a bakery immediately across the street from the park. The billboard says Furukawa Bread. What a plain looking store. Its glass door is half closed, but a brilliant light pours out from it like a knocked over soda without a cap. To be honest, I don't know about you people, but I'm not the biggest fan of these uh, flashy kind of stores. Like I take, a, I take a simple store over a flashy store any day. They seem to still be open. Even so, it feels hard to walk in. Do any customers other than regulars come here? If I was someone looking to buy bread, I'd probably, I'd probably look elsewhere, even if it meant going farther down the road. But today, I'm here because Furukawa invited me. My only option is to go in. I actually don't really see why you just can't wait for her in front of the store, but okay. Let's act as if this is not a thing. I step through the door and enter inside. No one is here. Hey yo! I try saying something. Yeah, hey yo is the first thing I always say when I go into a store. But don't get anything in reply. So they have just left it unattended? In that case, someone could help themselves to, to as much food as they wanted. I look at the different kinds of bread lined up on the shelves. There's a lot left. What are they gonna do with all this? Though it's already quite late, the trays are covered in bread. They look like they taste good. No, I think I'll help myself to a sample. Uh, why isn't this a decision? I take one off a tray. But as I bring it to my mouth, I notice something off. My hand stops. There's something in this. Let me guess, it's Anpan. <laughs> Suddenly I hear a voice from, come from behind. Oh yeah, you look like uh, Nagisa's mother, all right. <laughs> I turn around in shock, only to find a woman standing right in front of me. Judging by the apron she's wearing, she probably works here. Could she be Furukawa's mom? She seems pretty young to be, if that's the case. Okay, she might be your older sister, I don't know. Uh, how much is it? Lucky for me, you have no For real, you have no shame, Tomoya. Huh? So I'll feel calm if I eat this? Hmm. Maybe, uh, like, I don't know, there's tobacco in <laughs> this bread. I don't know. I don't really understand, but I try eating it anyway. It's defeated me, at the very least. Really? You liked it? I personally, I wouldn't eat that, but okay. Exactly as advertised, I see. I'd expect a broad outpouring of disgust for them, to be frank. Oh, they defeated me, him meant that he actually did not like them. Ah, okay, my bad. I think my lull is making her anxious. She asked me with fear in her voice. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to you straight. No one would ever buy this. No! I mean... First of all, Tomoya could be a bit more friendly, but who puts rice crackers in bread? Who puts rice at all in bread? Uh, may I? I think the problem is more fundamental than that. Where you went wrong was having the idea of putting rice crackers and bread in the first place. 
I'm saying this because it isn't. What the fuck? <laughs> Tears begin to well up in her eyes. Then she turns around and runs away. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, that shouldn't be that funny, but this is so... so ridiculous, it's... it's... <laughs> it's more of a laughing matter. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you a child or something? The store is empty once again. <laughs> well, good thing, like, a pissing off the mother of your potential love interest and also the person that is supposed to give you food. <laughs> I just stand there, dumbfounded and alone. I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I can't help but think of the saying. What kind of family environment is this exactly anyway? I gradually start to feel more and more uneasy. I hope that her dad is normal at least. Oi, oi. Oh. I hear a menacing voice call out from behind me. Oh, so this is how we... okay. This is how we're gonna play, huh? The the, the mad father and uh, the very sensitive mom. Okay. I turn to face it. This time I see a man with a threatening expression star staring at me. Don't tell me. Is this her dad? He's young, just like her mom. He seems like a teenage delinquent that aged, but never managed to grow up. <laughs> Well, to be fair, delinquent dad, you're kinda right. I may I mean you could be you could tell her that it's not the best or anything, but you have to be decent about it. It's not something I do for someone I'm meeting for the first time, because you're a jackass. <laughs> That makes no sense. Maybe that is the reason why you sell nothing. This is absurd. What kind of ridiculous home have I walked into? <laughs> the man grumbles as he walks around the store. He starts grabbing bread of trays and stuffing them into plastic bags in front of me. Oh Jesus, I wonder why. And it's in my hands. So he goes around sharing the leftovers with neighbors? Yuck. No one likes that guy. Now would be a good time to run. I quietly do an about face and attempt to exit the store. He noticed. Yeah, now you, you're done good. Uh, that's right, I do. So what? Yeah, you got a problem. Oh, yeah, you got a problem with that? Oh, what? Okay, to, uh, to, be, to be quite honest, like, Tomiya's character is a bit like... I don't know. Ha. Huh. Well, it's it's a bit difficult. Now that I think about it, we haven't seen him interact with uh, 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 adults so far. So maybe that's the way he he uh, behaves towards uh, uh, adults. So maybe it makes sense. I mean, of course, we we learned that he is a bit mean spirited, but he didn't seem to be a jackass all the time, you know? And now he's pretty, pretty, pretty rude. But as mentioned, this is really the first time we see him interact with adults. And maybe the fact that he hates his dad, more or less, um, takes a part into hating Nagisa's dad, you know? 
れを早く言えおいさん今夜は盛大に行くぜ He approaches me and grabs both of my shoulders I'm going home He then starts dragging me With an uncanny amount of force Wow There's no way I can resist The table is absolutely covered with rows of leftover bread Uh, so it's better to act in front of customers. I'm not. I'm not asking. I guess that's a frequent sigh to her customers. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> what? Did he just now notice? Yeah, maybe I am her boyfriend though. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I swear he can't have said that with two words. Like, am I stupid? <laughs> um, which is it? Because you basically just contradicted yourself there. Furukawa san's. Oh, it's me who always adds the sun, because I have manners. Furukawa's mom grins as she recommended different kinds of bread to me. Furukawa's dad practically burns holes right through me with his menacing stare, his eyes filled with rage and malice all the while. An unspoken rule, a code, a law. What an awful home. It seems like Furukawa is finally back. I'm saved. I think? Well, for now at least, I guess. Although it could get more awkward. Well, it wasn't boring. <laughs> Just a bit weird. All three thrust their fists out toward one another. I just stare at the scene like an idiot. Oh, I just thought it would be best if I didn't get involved in anything having to do with his family. That's all. No big deal. <laughs> Furukawa seems to be happy from the bottom of her heart. I wonder. What's with this what's with this family? Yeah, Oh god. Furukawa's mom follows after her. <laughs> now I'm all alone with her dad. Looks like I missed my chance to get away. Well, but maybe he's speaking the truth. I mean, on the other hand, if she has the idea to put rice crackers into bread, uh, her cooking will probably be kind of semi-disastrous. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, that sounds at least normal. So this is what Furukawa normally looks like. She's speaking a lot too. It's funny how different she is when she's around her family. Even this family. I must not be drawing out even half of the cheerfulness she normally has inside of her. I mean, you're a pretty, like, pretty irritating person, to be honest. Like, always in a bad mood. 
Always not all that nice. Also, I guess surroundings really make, like, uh, a difference. I mean, if I have my family around me, I really behave differently than uh, with my friends. Or with, really, people I don't know. It's normal. I feel irritated. Irritated at myself for losing to this family. Then again, we've only just met. I guess our relationship is just getting started. Wait a minute, why am I starting to feel this competitive? It is, isn't it? I'm totally on your side. Well, that is a bit over the top, though. <laughs> of course not! My name is Tomoya. My name is Okazaki. That actually doesn't sound that bad. Like, not for a real name, of course, like, but like for, for a name of an artist, you know, a chosen name by an artist, like Cosmic Tomoya. He draws the stuff uh, from Star Wars, I don't know. <laughs> I just told you, it's Okazaki. It's Okazaki! <laughs> Furukawa has been laughing the entire time. I guess she realizes this is one long joke. She seems so honestly happy. <laughs> How many name chases are we up to at this point? I watch closely as the family interacts with each other. Sorry, it just seems strange to me. That there were families like this. You're all so close. Okay. Why is he telling her this? I really don't feel like we are so far into our relationship that Tomoya would tell her something like this. This seems to feel absolutely normal to her. After being with them for a while, I feel uncomfortable. At the same time, I also feel a sense of frustrated embarrassment. Why is that? I was suddenly tossed into a situation where I stood out. Then I was treated like a child. What exactly was I feeling? The time I just spent with Furukawa's family. The mood in there was so foreign to me. It seemed like something that would take place on a different planet. My spirits noticeably dampen. I just want to go home and sleep on this for the night. But unfortunately... The living room. My father is sitting in a corner, his back hunched over. As I see him, I'm overcome with anger. Hey old man, if you're gonna sleep, you should at least lie down. With nowhere to channel my emotions, I simply suppress them and calmly say the words. No answer. Either he's sleeping, or he just doesn't feel like listening. I can't really tell the difference these days. Hey, Dad. I try calling him something else. He slowly raises his hat and squints his eyes open. He peers up at me. I wonder how I look in his eyes. Does he really see my face as the face of his own son? Okay, so we get to see his father. I was wondering if it was an artistic choice if we're, that we don't see him, but apparently we do see him. The scene before me turns red for a moment. But after that, I leave, as I always do. Very interesting design, by the way. Of course, first of all, uh, the, the obvious signs like uh, 
the stubble and uh, the very uh, grayish hair to uh, show that he has gone through a lot and stuff and that he's not taking care of himself. And at the same time, you know, the, 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 the gentle, whoops, now I skipped a sentence again, damn it. The gentle expression that, but that also seemed fake. It's interesting, you know, in uh, the, 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 the drawings, like the faces are not like uh, super, 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 super detailed, you know, but you can, but you see how much you can do nonetheless. It's interesting how much emotion you can put into it. Ah, shit, and now ah, I didn't want, I wanted to read the last sentence. There we go. Behind me, I heard an imploring voice repeating my name with a kun attached to it. What did I come all the way here for? Okay, so this is where we are, back at the bakery. What did I plan to do once I got here? A feeling of nostalgia hits me like a truck. Nostalgia for a kindness I knew long, long ago. I don't think I'd ever known something like that. And yet, despite how distant that memory is, it still feels so familiar, like it happened only yesterday. But just a little earlier, I'd been watching on as something like that took place again right in front of me. When they treated me like a child, I returned to being a child. But all I did was feel annoyed by that. I hear a voice right behind me. I turn back to look in its direction and see a girl. She looks like an illusion. Purity itself. Are you high? <laughs> the words flow from her mouth. She slowly closes her eyes. Okay, this seems... Is he... What the hell is happening? <laughs> this is her declaration to me. This small messenger from another world. We stand there in the freezing atmosphere, and the place closest to the entrance to that world. Ah, uh, I force myself to make a sound. My body feels as though it's, pa it's been paralyzed. Yeah, my voice trembles as it answers. The girl opens her eyes, and then her face returns to normal, to the one of simple purity that I know. Uh, nothing really. Well, uh, no, not really. I've come back down. It was just a little too early to go home. <laughs> yep, that's me. Nah, you don't need to worry about me, though. I do this because I want to, remember? What about you, Furukawa? Are you out shopping again? She immediately replies in the negative. I see. That makes sense. That seems unnecessary dangerous. This late at night? Isn't that, you know, dangerous? Mm-hmm. Okay. What? <laughs> like, okay. So, what Tomoya saw was like an illusion from the other world we already saw. And I don't know if he saw the same girl as in his uh, dream or in the parallel world or something. But apparently he saw... I mean, he obviously it was Furukawa, but was it like the real Furukawa? Or is Furukawa actually in the parallel world as well? And I don't know, she just adapted to it? Or is the parallel world just a thing that happens in his head? Hmm, well, I guess we'll see about that. That's what I was saying before. Oh no, that was her. Excuse me. I see. Well, uh, if that was all a performance, then it's definitely worthy of praise. 
But I can't find the words to praise her with. Hurry up and go home. It's a joke, stupid. Don't act so devastated. Well, that's his humor. Jesus, everyone is so touchy here. I mean, Tomoya's an ass, no doubt about it, but come on. She starts wiping the edges of her eyes with her finger. She's like a small child. Yeah, she is. Nope, gonna stay out a while longer. Yeah, maybe. But that's fine. I'm a delinquent after all. That's just how some of us delinquents are. Yeah, I did. Well, I mean, you act like a child, but at least you got some deduction skills. Yeah, that's basically it. Not bad. Not bad. What a sharp girl. Either that, or I said so much about my personal life that it was easy to guess all of that. You're wrong. I don't confirm it for her. I want to look cool. Come, collect it. We barely know each other. I am shocked you're able to come up with all of that. Oh, sorry. Even if that was the case, what were you gonna do about it? I try asking her. The courage to face off against my old man? How? Yeah, I bet it does. We're just kids. I look far off into the distance. Above the roofs of the house in town, the night clouds shine dimly from the light of the moon. Furukawa's voice breaks my trance. It must be the proposal she came up with after struggling to think of something in the last few moments. お互いのこと考えるといいと思います。お二人は家族です。だから距離を置けば絶対に寂しくなるはずです。そうすれば相手を好きだったことを思い出して、次会った時には、ゆっくりと話し合うことができると思います。それに、ちゃんと夜になった
I mean, if we knew her longer, we knew her for know her for two days. Or something. It's like, wow, that short, you know. <sighs> it's 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 too much. It's too much. It's too much. No, come on. <sighs> God damn it, this fucking music breaks my heart. It's not even like I mean uh, the, I mean the story is uh, already like a bit heartbreaking and all that, but even the the music like adds to it really well. Because, you know, I I I don't want to um I, I appreciate Nagisa's kindness, you know, towards Tomoya. I really appreciate that. And I think the idea itself is not bad, but come on, we know each other for two days. And I mean, I, I, I'm not sure I could do this with a friend I know for years, you know. There's no way I could do that. You've only just met me. Plus, I'm a student with bad behavior and I'm a guy. You're practically asking me to have my way with you by saying we should live together. Oh my god! That is what I hate about vision novels. That is not even close to my argumentation. What? <laughs> what do you mean when you say that? She has no idea what I'm talking about. Don't ever say that again. Okay, she didn't... She apparently didn't know what she was talking about. All of it. That you want me to stay at your house? That you don't mind me having my way with you? Oh, come on. Couldn't you be a bit more diplomatic? She bows her head. I don't want to see this any longer. It doesn't really matter. Well, I'm going home. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. I'm running into a bad end, like, <laughs> it can't go any other way. You know, that's also an aspect uh, I'm not too fond of in many visual novels. That you, like, have to try... I mean, I don't know it yet, I didn't get an ending here yet. So we'll see about it, but in many visual novels it's like, if you don't concentrate, like, 100% on one person, you'll get a fuck-up ending in the end, you know? <laughs> And that's totally not real life. I must have been dreaming. It was a dream of long ago. I stare at the ceiling for a while, trying to recall the whole thing. I can't remember what it was about, though. What I do know is that the dream left me feeling at ease. I crawl out of bed and begin getting dressed. Looking at the clock, I realize that first period has already started. I grab my thin back and head to the first floor. My father's already gone. I pass through the messy room and head to the, to the entranceway. After I put on my shoes and lock the door behind me, I leave home. I walk down the usual path all alone. There's nobody wearing the same uniform as me around. Well, of course, first period has started after all. I see this road empty more frequently than I see it filled with students wearing school uniforms. Maybe I should just ditch and hang somewhere. I'll just be sleeping anyway if I go to school. Vroom. Even so, since I'm wearing a uniform, I can't really go anywhere in public. Going to Sonohara's room to kill time wouldn't be a bad choice. But hey, if I sleep in class, at least I'll be counted as present. Yeah, you'll be run over. Yeah. Ah! Suddenly, something hits me in the back. And it was a very intense, intense impact at that. For an instant I can't breathe and my eyes flicker. My back feels like it's on fire. 
I turn around as I reach be behind me toward my back, and there stands. <laughs> so you weren't driving a bike, but a bike? <laughs> How do you call that? A, a motorcycle? Like a mini version of a motorcycle? I don't know how you call that in English. You... Don't tell me you hit me with that! <laughs> Apologize sincerely before you start boasting. You call that being sincere? Show your sincerity in a more tangible way. Go look up the word rep rep reparation in the dictionary. I'm a vulnerable pedestrian. You're going to get your license suspended for hunting for hurting someone for hunting someone. God damn it, and I can't read. Hang on a minute. Why do I need to stand here and listen to her giving me crap? I wasn't trying to fight a bike. Hell, she ran into me from behind. I'm 100% the victim here. Okay. I'll call the cops and tell them there's been an accident here. No matter the reason, you are definitely getting your license revoked. Have fun spending all day listening to some boring lecture at traffic school. Her eyes aren't laughing. I'm just kidding. I bet. By the way, what are you doing here this late? Besides, isn't it against school rules to come by motorbike? Oh, so you also call that a motorbike. Good. Well, you're still late. No matter how fast you go, it doesn't matter in the end, right? Doesn't riding a bike to school because it's a breeze make you a sloth too? Were you one of these guys riding the motorbikes on the schoolyard? Oh, probably not. I, I think the dialogue back then said it was someone new to school. What terrible reasoning. Then at least give me a ride to school. If I squeeze in, there will be room for two. Are you saying it's okay too? Thank you, I wouldn't have gotten it any other way. I don't need you to spell it out for me. Yeah, okay. I walk to the back of Q's bike and sit on the rear wing. Go! Her helmet mercilessly hits me that hits my jaw. That hurts and is only not deadly and jaw-breaking in anime. Didn't you say it's okay as long as I don't hug you? I'll get thrown off the bike. Then give me more room on the seat. Fine. I slip off the rear, rear wing and stand next to the bike. Alright, now make me some room. Hey, where the hell are you going? You're an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually really naive. <laughs> Kyo's abusive words fade into the Ah, oh, goddammit, I can't read anymore. Kyo's abusive words fade into the distance as she rides away from me. The next time I see your bike, I'm sticking gum in its keyhole. With a screech, Kyo suddenly does a 180 in the distance and charges this way. Ow! <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. After glaring at me, Kyo turns her bike around and rides away once more. She sure can't take a joke. And you're sh to sh 
God, after this I need to stop. I can't speak English anymore. <laughs> and you, you sure can take some punishment, my friend. I take a breath while glaring at the bike's tail light as it moves into the distance. That reminds me, Fujibayashi's fortune. I'll have an intense impact with a gentle girl. Both my body and mind will be refreshed. God damn you, imbecile. Okay, okay, let's stop here. I think we're uh, over the 20, uh, 30 minute mark anyway. Whew. God, I regret my decision a bit. I regret my decision a bit. Uh, this was such a mean decision. This was such a mean... It, 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 will, it was really a do or die decision. And I feel like I died. <laughs> Like, I I find it kind of, I find it really sad to hurt her. And the shit he said afterwards words, well, was even worse. Like, who in the hell would say that? Who in his right mind? I mean, Tomoya isn't in his right mind, obviously. But uh, who in his right mind would say that? Well, what can you do? I kind of, I, I don't know. I'm sad right now. I'm really sad right now. Well, anyway. Thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next episode. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.